Okay, we continue the uh, curve tool here. If you open this menu and undock that, the curve tools. In this is I want to explain fillet the curve, chamfer curves, and fillet corners. It's very simple. It fillets and chamfer the corner that you selected first. If you click the corner curve, <clears throat> here you can define a radius in centimeter or millimeter as you, you need that you define. And I don't uh, explain other <clears throat> sitting in this time, just do it. First, I want to make a chamfer in this <clears throat> corner. Select first angle and uh, segment and then second second segment. As you can see, we have a fillet here. And if you click it, as you can see, it's a joint. Okay, as you can see, you can right click to uh, bring the last tool again. Click on a radius. You can type any radius that you want in my uh, unit is in centimeter and hit enter as you can see radius is 10 join is no if you for example <clears throat> uh, we can cancel it and explode it as you can see they are separate okay <clears throat> if we select this tool and join no if you click and then click and after that as you can see they are separate Ctrl Z, but if you right click to bring it again and join yes, click, click, and as you can see, this is one unit uniform segment <clears throat> or curve here. This is unjoin. Oh, trim yes, it means it's cut when the trim. If you select the trim no, select, select, as you can see, there are, uh, uh, you have to trim it manually. They are not trimmed here. Select all of them and you can select the trims. Boom, boom. The software does this work for you automatically. So turn the trim on. <clears throat> and if you select again, here in the right click, you can fill the curve repeatedly. If you select it with the right click, you can click, click, and it does not uh, uh, finish the tool and you can uh, do it again and we need trim joint trim the uh, um where is that trim yes and it's trimming and it's doing all uh, it's always in a tool if you instead of left click you right click on this tool okay interesting and right click again to cancel it uh as we can see here we have a tool you can uh, of uh, you can connect to uh, curves that are not uh, at connect actually with this tool. It's interesting. I want to explain the extent arcs by curve and other curves by line. As you can see, we have an arc here and a line here. I want to select different setting. Extend arcs by line. It's in a line. Click click another tool extend arc by arc click click and as you can see you can see the difference it extends the arc to reach that uh tool other line and it extends uh, with a line not what arc this is the first line extend by line you can see the difference between them and it's extend by the arc okay you understand it yeah. It's very simple. <clears throat> Another tool here is chamfer. In the chamfer, we have two uh, number here. Right click chamfer. Distance one and distance two. This is distance with the first and second segment. And other setting is like the <clears throat> fillet. If you click the distance and give a high number five, then enter. As you can see, second chamfer distance and 10, enter. And then so the, the first selection is very important. This is A, this is a B. Click, click. And this is a chamfer. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> we have to trim yes. Click, click. Okay. 
This is distance one, five centimeter, and this is distance two. For this, I select the trim uh, join no trim no, and one one here. This is five centimeter distance number one, and this is ten centimeter here. Okay, we can define the distance here. What if you have uh, a very large? You can do it in any two angle that are <clears throat> joined to other or are separate. It's not a deal for this trim. Yeah. For example, we have a very long distance and <clears throat> facets and poly line, poly curve here. And I want to give all of these corners with one radius. You can use this tool, fillet corner. It select all the corner of your shape and fill it at once. Select and press enter. <clears throat> and here you can change, define the radius of fillet in a five. And as you can see, it's automatically fill it whole corner for you with one click. So you can use three fillet curve here. In the next session, we are going to the connect. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.